Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hey, so today we are talking Love and Marriage Huntsville. You guys know why you were here. Uh, technically, it's a video about Carlos King's video uh, with Mariah from Married to Medicine, who created casted her show produced the show however the bravo was being shady and not giving her the proper credit for all of the things that she did and that is why she took them to court and, and got her due but i want to talk about in this video some comments that carlos king is making about these other shows and and i don't know if it's the lack of self-awareness i don't know if it's the audacity i don't know if this is intentional i feel like i'm being gaslit it, it, more than anything else, I feel like I'm being gaslit in, in a lot of these Carlos King interviews because it's obvious to me that he would do anything to be back on Bravo. Even in this interview alone with Mariah, he's up here telling her that he felt a way that he wasn't selected to be the producer of Married to Medicine and he's always wanted to produce either Married to Medicine or um, the Braxton show, um, Braxton Family Values, and how he wants to be the producer to put his hands on these women. And I was like, oh really? Put your hands on these women and do what? Cause more chaos? Like, like, it, like, I don't under think, I don't understand what is happening, you guys. And, and then the audacity for Carlos King to say he's calling out production on Married to Medicine and saying right now that their producers are pinning the women against each other. Can we hold up a mirror to to Carlos King, you guys? Can, can we hold up a mirror to to Carlos King? Like, like, what are we doing on on the own network? What is happening on the own network that everybody is pinned? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Let me take that back. Before, in the earlier seasons, different people were pinned against each other, right? Because remember, uh, right off the rip, uh, Kimmy was calling uh, Melody Cherie the post queen. Right off the rip, Letizia was trying to gaslight Mel and trying to expose the mistress and was gaslighting the Holtz and trying to get them to talk about their uh, infidelity and everything else that took place in their marriage. But then they want to play victim and act like they didn't do that. Uh, and then... You know, the drama with Destiny, the drama with Stormy, the drama with uh, Letitia's mom, like all of these people continue to go at Melody Cherie Weiss. And, and, and so, so where is the self-reflection when literally, what, what, over a little over a week, a week and a half ago, Mel said in person to Carlos, she felt by him that he wasn't hearing her, that he didn't care what was happening to Mel on her own show. So how can you sit here and critique these Bravo shows and call out their production teams and tell them everything that they're doing wrong on their shows and not look in the mirror at the skeletons in your own closet, not look in the mirror at the chaos that is taking place currently on your own show that is actively filming for season seven, but on social media, we have people who are desperate still to be on this show more than an appearance and are just completely utilizing their platforms to slander one person, you guys. I have never seen anything like this. And, and I've watched a lot of reality TV. Yes, they try every season to, in particular, ice a person out. But this is a next level to where we are getting relatives and friends and, and, you know, colleagues of other people who have, you know, no personal relationship to Melody Sheree Rogers. That seem to have all of this stuff to say about her. And nothing's being done about it, you guys. Mel has to hire her own security, has to have, you know, the therapist on set in the event her crazy ex-husband shows up unannounced to anything she's got going on. And, and as of now, you know, still was able to, as of the reunion, as of season six, was still able to, you know, be in her presence on these group events and group trips. Where, where is the accountability here to where 
we're just going to pretend that the house is not on fire at the own reality TV shows. There is a lot of drama that is taking place with this own reality TV shows. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, is Carlos King serious right now? Is he serious right now? Or as long as Love and Marriage Huntsville is still considered the number one reality TV show on own, he, he could care less. Because remember, he said uh, at his live podcast event, this tour that has no other dates uh, of what the next dates are going to be. But of course, uh, when it's Melody Sheree Rogers, when you need her for promo, when you need her to present you awards, when you need her to do interviews, she's the first person you call. Because you know she has a large fan base and you know she has a large support compared to others, right? But again, what are we talking about? That these other shows pin people against each other and, and you literally are producing a show where the entire cast is being pinned against one person which is something I've never seen like this on this type of a level to where it's not even just the cast on the show. It is people who are no longer on the show. It is people who have never been on the show or maybe made a guest appearance in an episode on the show and are still attacking the same person, are still trying to gaslight people, are still trying to present a false narrative to make it seem like everybody else is crazy. Everybody else is exaggerating the the issues at hand and, and that oh we're just being haters we're just complaining because because our faves it, it, are not being perceived the way we want them to no 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 here's the thing everybody is going to be held accountable for their actions for their behavior that is not the problem here the problem is it's a you know collective attack on one person mel has said how many times she is sick of you know this bullying that has taken place on the show you guys had to have a come to jesus meeting in huntsville with all of the executives to stop the bullying against melody sheree and for you to sit here on another interview and bash another show and bash another show's production when the production is chaos right now as it pertains to Love and Marriage Huntsville that you claim that you're directly not involved in anymore. Where, where, where is the accountability is what I want to know. Where is the self-reflection that, you know, Melody is telling you in person, in front of some of her fans that she wants the show to get back to business. She wants the show to focus back on what the original concept of the show was supposed to be about. And even at this event, you still, you know, torpedo the purpose of it to, to implement your own types of things, your own type of mess and drama, your own type of chaos, to deflect away from Melody Sheree Rogers discussing her real issues, her real concerns, her in tears, her crying and being upset at all of the things that she is enduring. And instead, people are still coordinating attacks against her. People are still calling her a liar, a hypocrite, a gaslighter. They're calling her all of these things that she is pretending to be abused, that she, like people are just running away with these false narratives and you never speak up on Melody Sheree Rogers' behalf. You were doing all that stuttering in Huntsville, but you never said what the solution was gonna be. Mel even said, her ex-husband needs to go. He doesn't need to be on the show anymore. And, and you, you, you had nothing. You gave us nothing, Carlos. So how can you go on these interviews? And the same interview, even Mariah called you out about your hypocrisy, about how you'll gas up her other cast members and, 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 and you know, hype them up that they're the best thing ever, that they're the show, but then you're trying to sit here and give me accolades to my face and claim to my face that you like me, but you're saying that my other co-stars that I personally selected for the show are better than me, are, are the reason the show is popping. But you wanna try to play in my face and make it seem like, oh, the show you know, made a mistake getting rid of you. No, 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 no. This is the problem, you guys. This is the problem. With favoritism, this is the problem when people like to ignore problems if it's somebody that they like but then they want to gaslight other people 
into liking the people that they like that are the ones that like to stir the pot for production. Catch that. Notice Carlos King is always supporting the people who are the brokest on the show or who cause the most chaos on the show or, or who have the most legal trouble on the show that conveniently is never on the show at all. Why is that? I wonder why those people are being protected because they're willing to do anything for a check, you guys. And that means even playing a part that isn't real on TV to take down other people. And, and that's why I cannot take this nonsense seriously, this obsession of trying to weasel your way back into Bravo so that you can just completely, uh, you know, have nothing to do with these shows that you do not want to improve in any capacity. Make it make sense. So there is that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.